Well, it was only 72 years ago That the federal government suddenly said no more They said no more cannabis, no more hemp And since that day in August they've shown nothing but contempt And the story is a very simple one Full of greed, bigotry and ambition It's about hemp versus nylon and William Randolph Hearst and a guy named Harry J. Anslinger And if you know anyone that smokes the stuff You know it's harmless as can be But our drug war will never be able to get enough Until everyone is rounded up and locked up for eternity Well, first we have a company called DuPont they invented nylon. nylon Well, hemp can do what nylon does And do it clean and cheap So DuPont wanted to see it outlawed Add to this Harry J. Anslinger He was the first commissioner Of the Federal Bureau of Narcotics And he set his sights on cannabis As an easy way to prove his effectiveness You see, he characterized it as a dangerous drug as for proof, he pointed to those who use it most Which at that time was Mexican workers and black jazz musicians So clearly, this drug had to be stopped And in steps William Randolph Hearst Who makes Rupert Murdoch kind of look like a saint In every newspaper he owned, he very clearly showed How cannabis was the most dangerous thing around as can be, but our drug war will never be able to get enough, until everyone is rounded up and locked up for eternity. For 72 years later, it's just a fact, pot is a dangerous drug, it's as simple as that. It's the same as pot, and if you disagree, you're either a hippie or some lunatic fringe wacko liberal fool. But I say no to your silly outdated laws, and I say yes to the very reasonable cause. I'll knit you something out of hemp, maybe a scarf or a hat or a sweater, and then we can all go get high and watch the sunset together. For eternity Until everyone is rounded up And locked up for eternity Once upon a time In 1776 Thomas Jefferson signed His name on a piece of marijuana And this document Was a symbol of freedom And of liberty at least for the rich white gentry And time marched along This plant that I refer to has been used for everything From medicine to the American flag And now it seems to me Somewhere along the way things got messed up Yeah, messed up marijuana Gift of God to my brother me when I pee. Well, some say a conspiracy, the petrochemical and pulp paper industries combined <laughs> to kill the competition, government hysteria, monopoly and conflict of interest with total impunity. Yeah, so if you don't buy the conspiracy, just look at 
the reality that your tax dollars go. Spray poison on the fields of a farmer in South America. And as an added bonus, your neighbor might be the proud recipient of that poison weed. Oh, marijuana. The government wants to test me when I pee. Oh, marijuana. A gift of God to my brothers and me. your own morality Oh, marijuana The government wants to test me when I pee Grateful madness, chronic sadness What is the half-life of bad propaganda? Policies fail, denied bail You made him a demon, now pay for his trip to prison and Hard to promote the status quo But what is the shelf life of bad legislation? And the hypocrite smirks as a moral disgrace As he reads from the law that was written About the same time that he had his last original thought. Though the men said he was dying, and the nausea and the pain left him wasting away, and unable to keep a male down. So he tried everything prescription could obtain, but to no avail. The side effects were worse than the pain, so now he breaks the law. The one thing that seems to help him out and The people say, oh, he's just getting high But not to change the subject, but Didn't you ever wonder why getting high is a crime? Yeah, crime Oh, marijuana A gift to God to my brothers and me Test me when I be Oh, marijuana Government wants to test me when I be Oh, marijuana Government wants to test me when I be to test me when I pee Oh, marijuana This is the part where everybody would sing along <laughs> When I pee known a man the best rope will ever hold well the pioneers covered up the wagon trains with the canvas made of him and washington and jefferson grew it on their farms and said to make the most of it the first stars and stripes were sewn on him the first constitution too it's around the world for food fiber oil medicine and fuel but if the person succeeds we won't have no need for any other oil we can make paints and inks we'll run our car we'll go back next season it'll fix so the most nutritious seed we can put in our mouth with omega-6 and 3 We can feed the world with the tree of life and live sustainably But if we cut down all the trees, we won't have nowhere to breathe we'll Grow fields of hemp instead, we can make our paper, build a house from it so God is playing going wild and free, living the way that we ought to be Gonna leave my children a better world than my ancestors left me Well, the flowers 
course, the female hemp plant makes the best medicines on earth. Helps cancer and AIDS patients eat their food. Helps those with depression overcome the blues. Glaucoma, epilepsy, nausea, insomnia, stress, neurosis, psychosis, pain, PMS. All the studies have been done and all the doctors agree. But they can't make money off this plant, you see, because it's free.